Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com and for this Reseller Friday I want to talk to you about why you should never be afraid to ask for what you want. Now some resellers think that, you know, they go to a thrift store for example and they're thrifting and they think they have no negotiation power there. Now, if you it's the first time you've been in that store and you're not buying anything except for one item, you probably don't. But if you go there regularly and you buy a lot of stuff, you're more valuable to them just strictly financially speaking, than the person that comes in once a week and buys one item. And they're more willing to work with you. And I'll give you an example today. There was a very expensive item at a thrift store. I'm not going to mention the brand of the thrift store, but it's a very nationwide, commonly known thrift store. Their prices are fixed. There's no negotiation, is there? Well, no. But I'm in there all the time, and I know the manager not friends or anything, but we're acquaintances and they see me in there like if there's a shirt in the ground, I pick it up and put it back on the rack. They see that I'm not a burden in their store. I don't go, I've seen some resellers do things like they get a bunch of stuff in their cart, they go over to a corner, scan and see what is worth buying or not and they just leave it all there in the corner. All the stuff they're not going to buy. I don't do that kind of stuff. And if you do that kind of stuff, you create a bad reputation because the employees see that they despise you for doing that, for making their job harder. Now they got to go take and move all this stuff back to all of the store wherever it belongs. You make their job harder. They're not going to be negotiating with you. They're not going to want to deal with you. You're a problem. You're not a good reseller. But if you're a good person, you're doing the right thing, you think about those people, you make, when you leave that store, it's a little bit better than when you came in there. Like I said, I, if I see, if I'm going through the shirts and there's a shirt in the ground, I put it, pick it back up and put it on the rack. Not a big deal, but I don't want to leave the place looking like trash after I've been through there, even if I didn't do it. Some people say, well, I didn't knock it on the ground. Who cares? Pick it up. Be a person of character. And so in this store, I'm in there regularly. I buy a lot of stuff for resale. I don't return things all the time. I buy things there, and if it's an electronic item or something that might not work, I only buy it if I know, even if this thing doesn't work, can I sell it for parts and make a good profit? If not, it's not for me. Let somebody else have it. Because I don't want to be in there returning stuff all the time, because if I'm returning stuff all the time, I'm a problem. I'm a liability for that store. They're not going to negotiate with me. Plus, on my per end, my perspective, it's wasting my time. I don't want to waste my time. So I asked this manager. Actually, I go up to the cashier and I say, I have this item. It's missing the power cable. Can you give me a better price on this? Can you ask the manager if I can get a better price? She goes, well, I don't know. Let me ask her. And the manager comes over and says, well, you know, it just came out today and we can't really do that right now. I go, oh, that's, that's all right. No big deal. She goes, well, hold on a second. Let me see. You're in there all the time. And I get it for 40% off. All I had to do was ask. It was no big deal. I thanked her. Got the item for 40% off. I have a bunch of cables. I have one just for that one. No big deal. And so, yes, even in these stores that are retail stores, you know, you don't go into a Walmart and negotiate price. But I've done it in Walmarts, too. I've talked to management where they have a bunch of one item. And I'm selling on Amazon FBA. I say, listen, what kind of discount would you give me if I bought all of these? All of the item. Some of them negotiate. Some say, oh, I can't do anything. Some give you great deals. I've had deals from a Walmart manager for buying like an entire display of items. Where I'm getting them for 80% off. You never know. It doesn't hurt to ask. Many people fail to understand this principle. It's a principle Jesus laid out. Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. And many people only see that principle as applying to God. Although even that, they don't get what they want. And oftentimes they don't even ask. But this works in every area of life. And I tell people this regularly, but what is the worst that's going to happen? They're going to tell you no. No big deal. No harm. You know, and you don't be a child about it. If they say no to you, that happens. It's part of negotiation. Sometimes they don't have any room to negotiate, and that's all right. You're polite and kind and thankful to them, just as if they had said yes. Don't be rude. Don't be childish. Don't stomp off. 
Be a professional. This is your business you're dealing with. You as a professional are asking for a better deal on this item and don't be afraid to tell them why. Explain, well, you know, if it's this price, I can make more profit on it. Or if it's this price, it'll be reasonable for me to make a profit even if this item doesn't work. When you're honest like that, you're not trying to pretend like you're not a reseller or doing all these shady things that people do that claim to be resellers or doing these shady things that resellers do where they're ashamed of being a reseller. If you're just honest and upfront, people respect that. Maybe they don't give you the deal. That's all right. No big deal. But it never hurts to ask. Now, I'm not telling you to go into every thrift store and negotiate prices and, and just be super cheap and be an annoyance to people. But every now and then, and I'll give you another example, in that same thrift store, a different manager, because those thrift stores go through managers and, and employees pretty regularly, there was an old receiver system. It was worth about $1,700. It was about from the 60s or 70s. And I plugged it into the store because they have a little testing area. It immediately blew up like a transistor or something blew up and smoke went out of it. The manager saw it, said, oh, are you all right? Said, yeah, no big deal. It's just old, you know, and I think they wanted $124 for it. He says, anyway, give me a better deal on this, especially since it just puffed out smoke toward me. Well, we just put that out and we're not supposed to offer discounts until a certain amount of time has passed. And But yeah, for you, can do that. And I got that thing for $40. So roughly about a third of the price. Now, I would have paid the $124 because even not working four parts, it was worth about $500, roughly. But I got it for 40 because I asked. If I just sat there and said, oh, well, you know, it doesn't work. And it did turn on still. So at least powered on. There was something going on there. There are opportunities all around you that you'll never get if you don't ask. And I'm telling you as a reseller, ask. Don't be cheap. Listen, if somebody is offering something at a fair price that you can make good money from, pay them the fair price. But if you're not happy with it or there's some problem or you, know, you test it and it blows a puff of fire and smoke at you, maybe you negotiate in the price there. Because an electronic item like that, for example, obviously it goes from maybe this could work when I get home and test it better because there's not all the connections and stuff to test it at the store. You just plug it in and see if it powers on. You know for a fact now, this is four parts. I can't sell this working in working condition because it doesn't work properly. Or it's very unlikely it's going to work when it's doing that. Generally, smoking receivers aren't working properly. But if you got a fair price that the person's already asking for, don't try to get and be cheap and get them down another dollar or something just pay the price make sure people are making money people want that too if the price is fair pay the fair price you know in that thrift store i'm talking about where i've negotiated better prices and i'll give you another example of that i buy stuff there every day pretty much and a lot of stuff generally 99 percent of the stuff 99.9 .9 percent of the stuff realistically i'm not negotiating on I'm not asking them for a lower price. So if I was doing that all the time, every day I was in there trying to get a cheaper price, cheaper price, cheaper price, that would be a problem. That would be annoying. That would be irritating. But just these rare little instances, something's missing a cord. Can I get a better price? Something is catching fire. Can I get a better price? You can negotiate good deals and it'll be fine. Another time I was in that store, and this happened at other thrift stores as well, but this is just memories coming up from this one store. A different manager... So I'm talking about three different managers, three different deals. There was this Disney clock of sorts. And it was behind the counter because they had it for $99. And it had been sitting there for a while and it was very overpriced. No way for me to make money off it, off $99. Especially if just looking at it, it didn't look like there'd be money to be made off $99. And when I saw the price, I didn't even look it up. It was like, nah, this isn't worth messing with right now. Because even though it would sell for $400, tying up $100 in that thing that I don't even know that works, if it didn't work, it's going to be worth about the $100 I was paying. So that's not a good deal for me. If it did work, it's worth about $400. That is a good deal, but 
I got to take the risk of paying $100 for something that might only be worth $100. That's not a deal for me. Other people might be willing to do that. I don't want to return stuff, so I'm not going to buy it for $99, get it home, realize it doesn't work, and have to return it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that to store. So what I just said, knowing they don't want returns, it's not good for their store numbers. Well, that's been sitting over there for a while. Do you think you can give me a better deal on it? And the manager looks and said, yeah, it's been here for three weeks. It's price too high. What about $11.99? Well, I took the price, of course. I was very grateful, appreciative. Thank them for that. Paid $11.99 for it. Tested it when I got home. It worked perfectly and sold it for over $400. Matter of fact, that one item, because the person chose shipping and on eBay, for example, people pay the full retail shipping price, but you can get a discount. And with the shipping service I used, I saved about 50% of the shipping price. The shipping alone paid for the item, paid for the fees and was profitable all the rest, the other $400 was free money. But if I didn't ask, if I just said, oh, there's that $99 item, that's too high, because it might not work, I wouldn't have gotten the deal. And that's a big discount. That's almost 90% off. There are deals out there available to you. I could go on and on with other thrift stores as well and deals I got from them, free stuff I got from them. There are deals available to you if you'll ask. I mentioned this in my local sourcing video where I talked about garage sales, where I've been to them and asked how much for this item and told them I was a reseller. And then they gave me everything they had because they wanted to close down the garage sale. They didn't want to deal with it anymore. There are deals available for you if you'll ask and if you explain what you're actually doing in a reasonable and professional way. If you're pathetic and sneaky and slimy looking because you're sneaking around trying to pretend like you're not a reseller, people don't respect that. Yes, not everybody likes resellers, no big deal. But many people don't care. Most people don't care. Probably the vast majority do not care one way or the other. And if you're honest with them, they're gonna care a lot. Even if they don't like resellers, if you're honest with them, they're gonna respect that way more than if you pretend like, well, I'd like to get a good deal because I'm gonna buy this for a gift for my friend. Nobody believes that. Stop lying, be honest and ask. Don't be these people who never ask and you wonder why you're not getting good deals. I don't understand why Ryan's getting good deals at these thrift stores. They never give me any good deals. Well, are you the kind of person who's doing good in that store? Are you kind and polite? Do you greet everybody when you see them? If you see something on the ground, do you pick it up and put it back on the shelf where it belongs? I don't look around when, when I'm doing that. I don't know if anyone ever notices it. Some people probably do. I've had people thank me for it before. I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it because I like to leave... Any place I go, better than it was when I came in there. That's just part of my character. If you do that, you get more opportunities. Now, I don't do it to get more opportunities. It's just a natural result of doing good. You get more opportunities. And asking, you get more opportunities. So ask. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't shrink back. The worst they could tell you is no. I guess maybe the worst they could tell you is no, get out of our store and never come back. They're not going to do that. Unless you're rude or something about you is off-putting in the way you approach them, you're interrupting them in the middle of a conversation or something like that, nobody's going to be that way to you. They're just going to say no if they can't do it or if they don't want to do it. And that's all right. You be polite and kind. I've had people tell me no. And I go, okay, well, thank you anyway. And I start to walk off. And they say, well, come back here, man. We'll, we'll get you a deal on that. Like Maybe they were just testing to see whether I was serious about it or not. Be a person who asks. And don't be afraid to ask for what you want and get what you want in life. This life is very short. It's very brief. So ask and know that if you ask, you shall receive. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.